So just a few days back, I finally finished Mass Effect 2 for the first time. Yes, I know finishing Mass Effect 2 in big 2023. Please forgive me, but I am not that much of a long time gamer and I still have this huge backlog to go through. But the Mass Effect games have been at the top of my list for some time now. And recently, the legendary edition arrived on PS Plus. I had just finished Star Wars Jedi Survivor and Resident Evil 4. And I absolutely loved both of those games. So Mass Effect Trilogy had a lot to live up to for me. That is how it began. I had time on my hands and no other game to play. That's how my Mass Effect journey began. And you know what? I really, really liked the first game. It was great. The characters, the lore, the world building, the story, Commander Shepard as a protagonist, Saren as an antagonist, the ending, the consequences of your choices. But I still did not have the satisfaction that I wanted from a game this much acclaimed and loved by both fans and critics alike. Then I played Mass Effect 2 and my mind was blown. It was perfect. From the very first scene, Mass Effect 2 is a masterclass in design and structure. You're introduced to the elusive man, this very mysterious character. And you have all these questions like who he is, what does he want, and how does he fit into the story, what connection does he have with the Reapers. And the game grabs your attention from this very first scene with this mystery and aura around the elusive man that you just can't wait to unravel. Then the game throws you into this very chaotic, explosive and shocking opening sequence. And that opening sequence is exactly how you open a game. During this first act of the game, you don't know if you want to trust all these unfamiliar faces you're around because Cerberus at this point is still a mystery to you and you don't know what the real goal is. In this very moment of the game, you feel exactly like Commander Shepard. All you want to know is what happened to your old squad. You want to know if Liara is okay or not. You want to know if Joker made it out alive or not. You want to know where's Garrus. This game does such a great job of putting you into Commander Shepard's shoes that you feel like you're literally stuck in the past like him. You have no idea what happened and you're still dealing with the fact that it has been two years since the crash yet it only feels like a moment to you. But you have to work with Cerberus to fight against the Reapers. And thus begins the adventure of the second Mass Effect installment. Your first mission, assembling the perfect team. When you enter Omega to recruit Dr. Morden and the Archangel, right off the bat, you can see how different this game is from the first one when you entered the Citadel for the first time as an Alliance member. The bars, the streets, the music, the visuals, everything gets you immersed into the world and life there. And it's not the only time this game does it. You reach Ilium and it's the exact same thing all over again, but it's a completely different vibe and atmosphere. You see that the game is succeeding in making you get immersed into these beautifully crafted worlds. And as the plot advances, you feel the urgency and desperation that Shepard does. You start to bond with your new teammates and reunite with a few of the old ones. As you do the loyalty missions for Miranda, Jacob and the others, your relationship starts to develop with your teammates and with Cerberus as well. That distrust and resentment you had for Cerberus slowly starts to fade away. And you see that Cerberus also has the same goals even if you don't agree with the methods. You start to go on the missions now with more confidence and no more looking over your shoulder. But gradually, you also start seeing all the terrible stuff Cerberus had done and you start to remember 
how you were introduced to them in the first place in the very first game all that resentment and mistrust you had in Cerberus starts to come back the Lucy man sending you into known traps just to gather some information doesn't help matters at all even the code unquote Cerberus cheerleader starts to see the elusive man and Cerberus for what they truly are. But you'll still have to keep working together because there's an even bigger threat, the collectors and the reapers. And for now, you'll be better off helping each other. Right before starting the final mission, I knew that this game would go down in my favorites because no other game other than maybe The Witcher 3 or RDR2 had made me feel this emerged and connected with the world, story and characters. And the final mission of the game is one of the best conclusions to a story ever. It's astonishing that you can lose almost all of your squared hair. And it all depends on what choices you made in their quests, if you gained their loyalty or not, if you gained their trust or not. And it can even depend on if you upgraded your ship's armor and guns. The final attack on the collector's base is exactly the explosive and climactic ending this game needed. In that final mission, you see that how perfectly everything you've done so far in the game connects and how it all comes together. It's one hell of a ride from start to end and one of the best gaming experiences I've ever had. It's an improvement over the sequel in every single way and it's everything that a sequel should be and more. Every problem I had with Mass Effect 1 wasn't here and everything that I thought was lacking in it was upgraded here. To streamlining the side quest planets and the immense side quest variety, getting rid of the Mako, to making the hubs more immersive and lived in, making the consequences of the choices even more dire and grave than they already were in the first one. Mass Effect 2 is just the perfect sequel and video game in every way. The incredible mission design, improved and smoother gameplay, several different types of interactions and dialogue options, the absolute game-changing Paragon and Renegade interrupts, Batman living the character and dictating the story, much much more captivating and satisfactory numerous incredibly well-written characters played by incredibly talented people such as Martin Sheen and Yvonne Strahovski. I haven't felt as satisfied with any other game as I've done with this one whenever the mission complete screen popped up with its gorgeous backdrop of the elusive man and that amazing soundtrack. This game may have very well changed how I will look at video games going forward because of its design structure and this completely new perspective that Shepard has in this game. I never thought that any other space adventure could have better lore, world building and atmosphere than Star Wars or The Expanse. This game was an experience that I will remember for the rest of my life and I will definitely often come back to. I'm playing Mass Effect 3 currently and even though it's really great, there's just something missing. Not technically missing, it's just not Mass Effect 2. It just doesn't have that vibe, atmosphere and mystery of the second game because that is quite unmatchable. Bioware not only delivered one of the best sequels with this game, they delivered one of the best space adventures and one of the best games. There very well might be games that are just as great as this or even better but there is nothing quite like it. Thank you for watching this video. If you didn't close it halfway through 
and please like share and subscribe for more gaming and fiction related content and uh, i got to tell you it was perfect perfect everything down to the last minute details